This will be the next pandemic. It will not be a virus, but something far more insidious, antimicrobial resistance. Now imagine a world where a tiny cut could be a death sentence, where a sore throat could spiral into a life-threatening infection. It sounds extreme, but this is the terrifying reality of where we're heading towards if we do not act now. Hi, it's Dr. Derek here. Today, I want to take you on a journey through time and science to explore how antibiotics once hailed as miracle drugs are now at the center of a global crisis that could become the next pandemic. I was recently invited to the House of Laws to discuss why this very issue, why antimicrobial resistance poses one of the greatest threats to global health today. Let us start with a bit of history. In the early 20th century, infections that we consider minor today were often deadly. Then, a scientist named Alexander Fleming made a groundbreaking discovery, a mold that killed bacteria, which he named penicillin. This discovery revolutionized medicine, turning the tide against bacterial infections and saving countless lives, especially during the Second World War. Antibiotics quickly became the cornerstone of modern medicine. But fast forward to today, and we are facing a really serious problem. Bacteria have evolved, becoming resistant to the very antibiotics that once defeated them. Now, according to the United Kingdom Health Security Agency, antibiotic resistance infections rose by 2.2% in a single year. If we continue on this path, we could see a future where routine surgeries, childbirth, and even simple infections become life-threatening once again. In my day-to-day -day practice as a family doctor, I'm already seeing this firsthand. More and more patients are coming in with infections that are resistant to several antibiotics. It's becoming such a common scenario where I end up kind of scrolling through a patient's medical records only to see resistance, resistance, resistance. It is getting harder to know what to do next and I am genuinely afraid that this is just going to get worse. Antibiotic resistance occurs naturally. However, the inappropriate use of antibiotics can accelerate this process. This is why it is really important to take antibiotics only when they've been prescribed and only when they're necessary for the condition. When bacteria divide, its DNA goes through some random mutations. Now, some of these mutations will be beneficial to that bacteria and cause it to become resistant to an antibiotic. So in other words, a particular bacteria will develop a resistant gene. This resistant gene can then be passed along and down to other bacteria. What happens here with antibiotics is that they can supercharge this whole process because when we introduce an antibiotic, we basically kill off all the bacteria that are sensitive to that antibiotic and we leave behind those bacteria that have the resistant gene. And so those bacteria will multiply several times over until over a period of time, what we have left are just bacteria with the resistant gene and that antibiotic unfortunately is no longer as effective. So why does this matter? Well, without effective antibiotics, the entire healthcare system is at risk. Everything from cancer treatments to organ transplants depend on these drugs to prevent infections. The statistics are alarming. By the year 2050, antimicrobial resistance could cause 10 million deaths each year. Think about it. This is more than the current death toll from cancer. It's not just the numbers that are frightening, it is the broader implications. Antimicrobial resistance could turn back the clock on decades of medical progress. We're talking about a post-antibiotic era where infections we have controlled for several years become untreatable. The impact is also not just limited to healthcare. Antimicrobial resistance threatens global economies, food security, and the very fabric of modern society. So what can we do? Well, first, we need to change the way we think about antibiotics. They're not a cure-all, they're a precious resource that needs to be protected. Simple actions like washing your hands, covering your mouth, 
when you cough and only using antibiotics when absolutely necessary can make a big difference. We also need to push for global action. Coordinated efforts from government, scientists and the public to combat this growing threat. In my discussions at the House of Lords, it was clear that this is not just a medical issue. It is a societal one. To fight antimicrobial resistance, we need awareness, education and strong policies that promote responsible antibiotic use. We also need to encourage the development of new treatments. The future is not set in stone and we still have time to act. But make no mistake, the clock is ticking. The next pandemic is brewing and it is up to us to prevent it. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to stay informed about this and other critical health issues. As always, I truly care about your health and I wish you the very best.